फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स कोस्ट ऑफ मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट पुशिज द पुअर फैमिलीज इन टू फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम फ्रॉम दिस क्राइसिस वर्ल्ड्स बिगेस्ट हेल्थ केयर स्कीम आयुष्मान भारत योजना हैज बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड प्रोवाइडिंग हेल्थ प्रोटेक्शन कवर टू फिफ्टी करोड़ पुअर पीपल अंडर दिस सो फार अबाउट ट्वेंटी सिक्स लैख पुअर पेशेंट्स हैव अवेल्ड ट्रीटमेंट इन हॉस्पिटल्स इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड मेडिसन्स एट अफोर्डेबल रेट्स फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड जन औषधि केंद्रास हैव ऑल्सो बीन ओपनड इट इज आवर एंडेवर टू प्रोवाइड मेडिसन्स एट अफोर्डेबल रेट्स टू पीपल रेजाइडिंग इन फार फलंग एरियाज थ्रू दीज जन औषधि केंद्रास The objective is to set up about 1.5 lakh health and wellness centers in all rural areas by 2022. So far, about 18,000 such centers have already been operationalized. Our countrymen can learn a lot from tribal communities. Our tribal brothers and sisters live in harmony with the environment and nature, and maintain a beautiful balance between development and tradition. In New India, every effort will be made to create an inclusive and sensitive system in the interest of tribal communities. many schemes have been implemented for all round development of tribal areas work is in progress to provide learning to earning facilities to the youth residing in the forest areas in tribal dominated areas eklavya model residential schools are being set up for children the thrust is on value addition and marketing of forest produce through forest wealth centers honorable members women empowerment is one of the top priorities of my government empowerment of women and their effective involvement in society and economy is the touchstone of a developed society the government's thinking promotes not only women's development but also women led development according the highest priority to women's security several effective steps have been initiated with the cooperation of the states penalties for crimes against women have been made harsher and the new penal provisions are being strictly enforced the beti bachao beti padhao campaign has brought down female feticide and improved the sex ratio in many districts of the country rural women are the biggest beneficiaries of freedom from smoke through ujwala yojana vaccinating through mission indra dhanush and free electricity connections under sobhagya yojana women are also being given priority in the registration of houses built under pradhan mantri awas yojana in the rural areas 
nearly 2 crore new houses will be built. Honorable members, facilities for the women workers in the unorganized sector are also being augmented. Self-employment opportunities are being made available to rural women through Rastriya Ajivika Mission. Under the Rastriya Ajivika Mission, loans amounting to more than rupees 2 lakh crore have been dispersed so far to 3 crore women in rural areas. My government is committed to make women equal stakeholders in the country's development and prosperity. Efforts will be made in collaboration with industry and corporate sector to provide better employment opportunities to women. In addition, in government procurement, priority will be given to those enterprises where women's participation in the workforce is more than the prescribed limit. To secure equal rights for every sister and daughter in the country, eradication of social evils like triple talaq and nikaha halala is imperative. I would urge all the members to cooperate in these efforts to make the lives of our sisters and daughters better and dignified. Honorable members, our young generation must have a meaningful participation in the building of new India. In the last five years, attempts have been made for developing the skills of the youth, providing them financial support for startups and self-employment and making available adequate number of seats for higher education. The amount of scholarship has also been increased by 25%. The government has made provision of 10% reservation for youth from economically weaker section of the general category. This will enable them to get more opportunities in employment and education. To enable the youth of all strata of society to fulfill their dreams, timely provision of financial resources is being emphasized. The impact of Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana has been felt on a big scale. Under this scheme, about 19 crore loans have been disbursed for self-employment. An effort will now be made to cover 30 crore people by expanding this scheme. A facility for entrepreneurs to avail loan up to rupees 50 lakh without any guarantee will also be introduced. Apart from this, new employment opportunities will be generated through appropriate policies in sectors which have the potential to accelerate the economy. Today, India has joined the League of Countries with most number of startups in the world. To improve the startup ecosystem, the government is simplifying the rules. This campaign will be further 
expedited our goal is to establish 50000 startups in the country by 2024 research is being increased in higher educational institutions to further strengthen this effort it is proposed to establish a national research foundation to encourage cooperation among different institutions for higher education stop